This is a 3S lithium ion pack for flying a 4 inch long range quad. And this is a 2S pack. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make them. I just want to add a little disclaimer because these batteries are flammable. Remove any metal jewelry from your fingers and take special care not to accidentally short the cells. Don't apply too much heat and have a safety plan in place in case you puncture one. The 3S pack weighs 149 grams and the 2S pack with larger 21700 cells weighs 142 grams. I've also got this pre-made 4S18650 pack from online which weighs 194 grams. Here's the 3S pack on my Transformer Mini. All up with the naked GoPro it weighs 322 grams. So let's get started. For the 3S pack I'm using the Molly Cell 18650 P26A 35A amp cells. You also need a 3S balance plug and an XT30 connector. Start by using a little double sided tape to hold the batteries together. There's a very particular way to put these together, so make sure one of the batteries is upside down. We'll be wiring these in series, starting with this positive end. You can follow the circuit from negative to positive until we reach the final negative side. Now let's spot weld. I'm using the Sunco 737G, as well as the included nickel plated strips, which are 0.15 millimeter by 5 millimeter. I'm not using the foot pedal, and I've got a moderate amount of pressure set on the welding rods. Two pulses on 60 amps gets a pretty good weld. Pay close attention to where I placed the strips because it's very important that we create the circuit I described earlier. This will be the top of the battery, starting with the exposed positive end. And finally, make sure the strips aren't coming off. Next, we're going to make the XT30 battery lead. Use some blue tack to hold the connector in place and fill both wells with solder. Use some 16 gauge wire and some shrink tube to complete the lead. Leave lots of slack on the negative wire because it needs to travel much further than the positive. This is optional, but it does help a little to sand the strips for better solder adhesion. To get the solder to stick, you need to heat up the strip just enough that the solder pools up. I prefer to do this before spot welding to avoid damaging the cells with my iron. Make sure you've got a good solder because if you don't, the wire will pull right off the tab. Make sure the strip isn't too long before spot welding it to the exposed positive end. Now the negative lead needs to wrap around to the bottom of the battery, so be sure to route it around the side to know exactly where to cut it. Follow the same procedure as before, but be very careful not to let this tab touch the positive tab. You don't want to short. I think this method is the best though because it eliminates any need for your soldering iron to make direct contact with the batteries. Next we're going to attach the balance lead. Start with the positive wire and follow the circuit with each concurrent wire. So the next wire solders to the nickel strip at the bottom of the battery. It's good to solder to the middle of the strip to limit the heat being applied to both of the cells. Then you can just tuck the wire in between the cells. The next wire solders to the next strip on top of the battery. Again, be careful not to apply too much heat to the batteries. And the last wire solders beside the negative lead at the end of the circuit. And we're all done with the wiring. Now we've got a 3 cell, 35 amp lithium ion battery. Before we wrap it all up, let's check the voltage to make sure it works. We've got a total of 10.9 volts and each cell is right around 3.6 volts. Perfect. First, you want to use some tape to keep the wires tucked away between the cells. And then I used some 103 millimeter PVC heat shrink tubing to wrap the cells. I zapped it with a heat gun and here's the result. Finally, I wrapped the entire pack with cloth tape. I'm sure there are more elegant ways to do this, but it's the best I could do with what I had. If you can find some large polyolefin tubing, I think that'd be a much better choice than PVC. Now let's very quickly build a two cell battery. This is much simpler, so I'm just going to breeze through the process. Basically, you use a single nickel strip on the bottom and both the positive and negative leads attach to the top. The middle wire of the balance lead solders to the nickel strip at the bottom and you're done. Here I'm flying the 3S pack on my Transformer Mini with 1404-4850 kV motors. On 3S, I can get about 15 to 20 minutes carrying a naked GoPro. These particular motors are best suited for a 2S pack though. And on that, I managed about 23 to 28 minutes, depending on how much I milked the throttle. The problem I had with uh, 2S was getting a good tune, though. I just couldn't get it flying as well as on 3S or 4S. 3S did take some tuning, and 4S worked great on the stock settings. 
I think 1404 3850 kV motors on a 3S lithium ion battery is probably the way to go though. You should be able to get 20 to 30 minutes on that combo. So if you haven't flown lithium ion batteries before, they've got slightly different characteristics from a standard LiPo. First, they'll sag quicker on a hard punch, but some casual freestyle is possible. If you're looking to do some aggressive freestyle, you should just stick to a LiPo. Um, lithium ion batteries lose a lot of efficiency when you pull a lot of amps. They're good for sipping, but not for guzzling. Second, you can discharge all the way down to 3 volts per cell. So if you're flying a 3S lithium ion, you can land at around 9 volts. Typically, you need to bring a 3S LiPo down around 10.5 volts. Lithium ion is just uh, more energy dense. Some details about this flight. Here I've got a naked GoPro Hero 6 with an ND4 filter, and this is the footage after passing it through Real Steady Go. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. I'll leave links to all the equipment I used, including the spot welder. If you want to build the Transformer Mini, I wrote a detailed build guide on rotorbuilds.com, as well as a video on my channel. If you learned something new in this video, drop a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.